Greetings, my excellent friend. Do you know when the Mongols ruled China? Bill and Ted have had some ridiculous adventures. They traveled in time to pass a history class and even died, went to hell, came back to try to reunite the world. The Bill and Ted movies were cult classics in the 90s, and who can forget those great air guitar riffs? <laughs> It's been over 30 years since Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves donned the classic roles of Bill Preston Esquire and Ted Theodore Logan. This time the duo will return in the final film to the series, Bill and Ted Face the Music. So the big question is, was the movie worth watching? And was it worth all this time waiting for it? Let's check it out. The story takes place in 2020, 30 years after the events of Bill and Ted The Bogus Journey. Bill and Ted are struggling to write the prophesied song to unite the world. Due to their failure, space and time are falling apart. On top of this, they're having marital issues with their respective wives Joanna and Elizabeth due to their obsession over writing this prophesied song. They are then contacted by Kelly, the daughter of Rufus played by Christian Shaw. She then takes them to the future to speak with her mother and the supreme ruler played by Holland Taylor who also happens to be Rufus' wife. This is all witnessed by Bill and Ted's daughters, Thea and Billy, played by Samara Weaving as Thea and Bridget Lundy Payne as Billy. This is where I think the casting is done very well, especially Bridget Lundy Payne as Billy. I think she has such similar mannerisms and speech patterns to Ted that you can see the resemblance there and the role is played so well by her that it's kind of like a mini Ted female version talking. I also think Samara Weaving did a great job, but I just think Bridget Lundy Payne actually knocked it out of the park with the way she played the role. After meeting the Supreme Ruler and realizing they only have 77 minutes to write a song before time collapses, Bill and Ted choose to steal their old time machine and go into the future to get the song for themselves. This is the main plot of the story. At this time of searching, their daughters are on their own adventure, recruiting artists with the help of Kelly from the past they feel that could help their father in writing the song. This is where the movie plays off the old nostalgia of time travel, as Bill and Ted meet their future selves and even reunite with their old buddy Death. Upon hearing of Bill and Ted leaving and believing they just refused to write the song, the Supreme Ruler sends a cyborg named Dennis after them to kill them. She does this because she believes it will stop time collapsing. Now this is a subplot with the character Dennis that I have issues with. I know they were going for a comedic effect with him, but I think it was overplayed a little too much. I really like the use of characters in small doses such as Ted's dad and even historical characters such as Abe Lincoln. Those to me flowed right, I even like the character of station which I'll get to in a minute. I just feel that Dennis was pushed a little too more for comedic effect. Now the character of station is also missing from this movie and it's kind of disappointing because they really never mentioned where station went as in the alien scientist but they do refer to the their saying as station. It seems that Kid Cootie kind of replaced them as he's a guidance to music and other physics and time travel. But I really wish they would have showed Station. That's just me. But I mean, what can you do? So my thoughts on the movie. I know I didn't go into the full storyline and complete story because I wanted to give you a chance to figure it out for yourselves and watch it. I think the movie was actually pretty good. I personally thought it brought back a lot of nostalgia and a lot of things that remind me of the old Bill and Ted movies. Of course, this movie was done on a short budget. So I thought it was done very well to have a limited budget. And I also love the fact that Bill and Ted, played by Alex Winter and, of course, Keanu Reeves, kind of fell back into their old chemistry, and it felt like an old-school Bill and Ted movie. Was it the best? No, but it could have been a whole lot worse than what we've been getting these days. So, in conclusion, I would recommend checking it out. Now, you might not want to pay the full price on Amazon Prime, as I believe it's $23 right now. You might want to wait off a little bit on it. But it is a movie worth checking out, and I was happy with it. Hopefully it brings back that nostalgia of the old Bill and Ted movies for you as it did for me. Anyway, as always, thanks for always watching, and have a great rest of your day.